Good afternoon and a warm welcome to all participants and uh, the esteemed panel uh, panelist members present here. Thank you so much. My name is Vimal Shukla. I'm the Associate Professor at School of Hospitality Management, Oro University. And it gives me immense joy and pleasure to welcome our elite guest, Mr. Pankaj Kamle, as a panelist here today. Uh, uh, a warm welcome to you. Sir. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and spending some time with our students and probably giving them a new uh, perspective on how to deal with these challenges and how to be also if you can convert into an opportunity. So I welcome uh, Mr. Pankaj. Thank you so much, sir. For coming. Thank you so much, sir. Thank for you. For a brief introduction. Uh, I will just uh, before we start the session. I would like to give a brief introduction about Oro University. Uh, the university established in the year 2011, Oro is registered under Gujarat Private Universities Act and under UGC Act. At Oro, we believe in integral and transformational learning, a platform given to the students to embark on the journey from learners to leaders. The learning at Oro is not just confined to four walls of the classroom, but goes much more beyond. There are total eight schools currently running at Oro University, delivering exceptional teaching and learning to all its stakeholders. To name the schools, we have School of Business, we have School of Hospitality and Management, under which stages this webinar is being organized. We have School of Information Technology, School of Law, School of Design, School of Journalism and Mass Communication, School of Liberal Arts, and lastly, School of Sciences, which we have just introduced this year. In our school, we currently offer five programs. BSc Honours in Hospitality Management, this is the program that we offer at undergraduate level. At undergraduate level, we also offer another program, 5 years Integrated BSc MSc Hospitality Management program. Uh, at Master's level, we are offering MSc in Hospitality Management. And we also have two programs for PG level students, PG Diploma in Event Management done in collaboration with the Viscraft Mumbai and a PG Diploma in Contemporary Bakery and Patisserie. Uh, this is for people who are interested in kitchen. Now, without any further ado, I will give you a small brief interview uh, introduction of our guest, um, Mr. Pankaj Kamle. Mr. Pankaj Kamle is the co-founder of uh, Florology Bar School and Events, and uh, he's also the current uh, Guinness World Record holder since 2011. He's the founder of I Am Responsible Campaign, Mixology Flare Camp, World Championship. And he's also a beverage consultant, trainer, and uh, fair tender by profession. Now, to tell you a little bit about his past and his uh, uh, activities that he's been involved in, Mr. Pankaj uh, comes from a humble background. Being eldest in the family, uh, he started early in life with errand jobs to support his family. With all these hardships uh, behind him, he never lost focus on making it big in his life. Mr. Pankaj got attracted to the art of flaring and mixology at a very early stage in his life. And, uh, and he owned his skills with little or no mentoring. He began his hospitality career initially in Mumbai in 2009 with Sayaji Group. Impressed by his skills, he was quickly promoted as a beverage consultant for the same group, Sayaji Group. In 2011, he attempted the Guinness World Record and as you know, the rest is very much history. He, along with his partner, Mr. Sachin Gaura, launched Flareology School and Bar Events to provide a platform to all youngsters to learn and perfect the art of mixology and flaring, which he has done in a very, very hard manner. He has uh, also come on popular TV shows uh, as Entertainment Kele Kuch Bhi Karega, Life Make, Bar, I Can Do That, and many such. And he's also come on many uh, ad shows, programs, and training shows which have been conducted on television and also on the uh, online media. He has also been inviting several, uh, he has also been imparting several uh, corporate training workshops for the elite class, the executives, and the managers. His team, under his dynamic uh, leadership, has immensely contributed to creation of several prestigious intellectual property uh, events and industry uh, programs such as the Mixology Flare Camp, uh, Bar Awards, I am, I am Responsible, the Non-Profitable Organization Campaign, which we have been doing, and the Dean Dream Fair. Uh, along with this, uh, Mr. Pankaj has been the, the receiver of many, many, many achievements. Uh, just to name some of his achievements, his Guinness World Record 2011. He's also the youngest bartender to hold the Guinness World Record in Flare. Uh, he also got the second uh, place in Sky World Cup Flare Bartending Championship. 
uh, first place in Angostura Bitters National Cocktail Championship and has represented India in Trinidad and Tobacco and has helped him spread the style of flaring. Spirits Award for the Best Flare Bartender 2016, Spirits Award for the Best Bartender 2017. He has represented India at International Bartending Association in Tokyo. And the, the cherry on the top is he, uh, his uh, activities, his feat is also uh, mentioned in the recent uh, Limca Book of Records for doing the longest domino trail. Uh, he is a man with a lot of passion, a lot of interest and he loves to spend time with uh, talking to students and that is why he's also started the school the Flairology Bar and Devil School. Uh, he uh, he's actively involved in uh, consultancy work with many reputed hotels, restaurants, and he's also um, created uh, their menu, their beverage uh, list completely from scratch. Uh, he's known to provide great, excellent concept uh, drinks and beverages to their team, to the to their stakeholders, for which uh, they are well reputed. And uh, he's also most importantly known along with his team to create uh, most memorable uh, experiences or events where his team is involved. So it gives us great uh, privilege and honor to welcome him uh, on the stage and I please uh, ask him to now interact with the students and give his insights and his experiences of spending the lockdown time and how it affects us physically and of course mentally and how we can change it into uh, opportunity and gain something out of this valuable time that we are needed. So, uh, Mr. Pankaj Kamle, over to you, sir, and welcome, sir. Once again. Well, sir, thank you so very much. It was a very long introduction. Thank you so much for talking about each and everything that said about me. That was so nice of you. Thank and you so much, sir. Uh, I would you. like to thank Oro University as well for giving me this opportunity to interact with the students. I always feel like I am the student of this college somewhere. So I am that well connected with the college somewhere. And I always Thanks. recommend the college because it's one of my favorite college in India, Radha, I would say. Thank you so, so much. Sir. Thank you so it's much. always a privilege to be here. I hope everybody is doing good and fantastic, guys. I want a lot of interactions in the chat box. I want this session to be really, really very amazing. So. If you guys have been operating, I'm sure you guys are operating Zoom as an app for your so many webinars and you're all, you guys are pro at it. So I want hands up, thumbs ups and I'm sure with lockdown your typing speed has gone from 50 words per minute to more than 150 words per minute. So each and every question which I ask you guys, you guys need to answer me those questions right in the chat box. Give me a thumbs up. If this is clear with everyone out there. We have got more than 120 participants. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I want to see lots of thumbs ups and raise. Come on, guys. This has to be a real garden session. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. Super, super, super amazing. Thank you very much for your confirmation. Let's begin with the session. Let me ask you this question because this, this is a question of the era. How many of you guys are bored with lockdown? How many of you guys are bored with lockdown? I'm sure 100 of out of 120 people, almost 100 of you guys will raise your hands. A lot, 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 a lot. I'm sure you guys are bored with the lockdown. And how was your lockdown? I'm sure it has to be something out of this. TikTok. Netflix, TikTok go this band, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, some dating app, meme, Netflix, and so on. If it is not there, PUBG, I'm sure. PUBG, oh my god, if you get into PUBG, at least three hours you are constantly in some other world. So I know what happens when you guys play PUBG. I don't play PUBG, but that's what I've been knowing and that's what I've been learning from a uh, lot of parents and students. Brilliant. So PUBG, PUBG, PUBG. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. What brings you to this session, guys? What brings you to this session? Why are you here? Did you find the headline or the topic name very interesting? What brings you here? I want to see a text message in the chat box right now. 
what brings you here. I'm sure there are difficult times and you're facing a lot of challenges during this time. Topic name, I'm sure no one can end this. Topic name, definitely interesting. Okay, and what else? What else? What else? I want to see lots of messages. You guys have a typing speed of 150 per minute, 150 words per minute. So I should get a lot of messages. Topic name, excited. Last session is best. Okay, that's brilliant. Nice. Okay, fantastic. Now, let me ask you one more question now, guys. You guys must be definitely thinking of this session, what will be there, how, and what is he going to talk about then? What's there in your mind, I'll tell you right now. You must be thinking, you chose this profession and everything is shutting down and there are things which are going here and there. Uh, hospitality industry has been one of the biggest hit industry. Uh, hotels are shutting, restaurants are shutting, the bars are shutting. There are layoffs in the industry. There, there is no job, uh, there is no hope further. And there are a lot of questions. You as a student, definitely there are a lot of questions. And you must be thinking, did I make the right choice? By taking hospitality as a profession. Before Corona, it was okay, but then after this, I feel like something is a problem now, and I want to rethink about what I have to. I'm sure you guys are thinking about this. Give me a thumbs up on this if it is yes. And what do I do in future? How do I do my future? How do I cope up with things? And what is going to happen? I want to see thumbs ups. If you agree to, this is question mine. I'm sure each and everyone will absolutely agree to what I said. Frankly speaking, when the lockdown started, the first month of lockdown, I enjoyed it. I was having a good time, it was fun. Um, Netflix, family time, good time. Everything was brilliant, awesome, amazing. I was, uh, I was having a good time. But then somewhere back in the mind, I had this thing. I had built a 13 years of career and I did so many things. And once I almost have spent the entire list. I felt was, is my 13 year of career is on stake? Is really going to happen? Because my business is people's business. How do I deal with it? I have to do events, I have to do my shows, I have to do my consulting projects, my menu designing, my school and everything. So I was like a little worried. Um, over the period of time, one month passed and the first week literally brought me into a panic situation because I was just seeing across the world what was happening and I thought I should do something about this and make myself move towards something very productive. So what I did, I started looking for things which I could do. So uh, in the first month, I said that this lockdown is going to be for two months until I made that in my mind and I did some helping of people so basically I am I am helping a couple of people I did some courses for myself so I am always be, I have always been investing in stock market so I did my advanced course in stock market and so on stock market was down at that time the first uh, first one and a half month I am sure you guys are from Gujarat and most of you guys know very well about trading Gujaratis are super amazing with their trading skill and you guys know what I am talking about well so over the period of time I felt I now need to take some action and my mind, whoever I was calling, my friends, my clients or whoever in the circuit I was calling, they had only one thing to say. I'm choosing this and this one and I can try to well, you can choose. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll come to that. Get all your questions answered by the end of the session. I'm sure about that. So I thought I was calling everybody and everybody was saying one thing that what is going to happen, it is all gone and there is no business, there is nothing as such. There's that there are a lot of things, a lot of things and uh, I also was thinking the same. Now what is going to happen? And over the period of time, I was seeing somewhere that some guys are literally making money out of nothing and nothing. Yes, this is a situation where we don't even think how do we make money, what will happen? But then there are a lot of guys, I want to show you another screen. But before that, I want to ask you one question. So I did this to myself. I want to ask, what's your goal? What's your goal? What's the reason for you to join hospitality? What's that reason? Think for 10 seconds, take the time. I'm sure you had a goal. You had a goal to work in some of the best hotels. You wanted to manage a hotel, you wanted to become a general manager, you wanted to become an FNB manager, and so on. I'm sure 
this plan will definitely help you to take something so there are a lot many other people apart from these guys these guys are just famous so that's why i use their uh, faces in the presentation american billionaires have got in half a trillion richer during the pandemic wow that's beautiful and amazing so in america cases are like you don't even ask what are the number of cases even i don't know they are in lakhs and people lying are also in lakhs now so i'm sure very much sure you must be thinking that how these guys are making money and rest of the world is not and suffering i felt somewhere i need to understand i started understanding what are they doing and how are they doing there are there are people from india as well by the way mukesh ambani those guys Amani gets richer than to ninety seven thousand crores in just two days. Let me tell you one thing, guys. Uh, if you guys were in stock market or something, Amani or other Reliance Industries, the stock market the shares were eight hundred rupees. Now they are more than seventeen hundred rupees. Seventeen hundred rupees are growing big time. Though the though the major business was oil investors, was it growing? How are they growing? Why are they growing? And all of a sudden now his business has gone double. Well, Ambani's business has gone double, so they are doing something, and they're looking forward to opportunities and working towards it. That's what clicked me as well. I want to take you to the next slide, or rather, I want to take you to the next slide, which gives a lot of uh, important thing. Okay, uh, they were getting rich because of us. We have started enjoying lockdown. I'm sure we have started enjoying lockdown. Now this is like this is how it has to happen. This will go on like this. This will definitely take you up somewhere. Lockdown be like we work our endless hour to make ourselves poor, miserable, and contribute most to make rich more richer. I'm sure you must be thinking, I what we did? Netflix, Amazon Prime, PUBG, this, that. What were we doing? We were spending our endless hour to make somebody rich, rich, richer, 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 right? What we did. This is what we did, I'm, and I'm absolutely correct. And you guys agree to me this. You are feeling bored. You felt everything, but then you did not stop doing this. You were helping somebody to become more richer. Isn't that true, guys? Isn't that true? I am absolutely correct, and I'm talking. I'm sure I'm making a lot of sense to you. Let me ask you one thing, one thing once again. What's your goal? Reason for you to join hospitality? Have you given up somewhere? I'm sure. I'm hundred percent sure. Few of you guys must be calling your faculties, you're calling your principals, and you must be saying that what will happen, sir? We don't know what is the future. Your parents are panicked. You are also panicked. And some of them, somewhere inside, must have felt. I think I should give up and look after something else. I'm hundred percent sure this has been a mentality of most of the people in hospitality industry. Most of the people in hospitality industry. And if I ask anybody, what is your plan? If you had a goal, forget about that. If you had a goal, what's your plan right now? They only had. Call your friends if they are not in the session. Ask them. You have a goal with some hospital uh, in the hospitality. What's your plan now? What is your plan towards your goal? They will only and only say waiting for the lockdown to open. And if the lockdown will also open, they will only have one single thing to blame on, and that is Corona. Unemployment. There is so much of issues. The rates have gone high. There is that everything. You will only have only and only have one thing. That is excuse, and that excuse is blame this pandemic. That's all. By the way, guys, there are endless opportunities. And we are just blinded with negativity and fear. I'll tell you, you go on news channels, you see so many things. You call your friends, they are also negative. You call anybody, you will talk only about this pandemic. That there are so many cases here, there are so many cases of my uncle there, my auntie there, my friends there. There is this lockdown, this is happening. Did you see in Australia? Did you see in America? Here and there, what is happening? You are just talking about that. Even the news channel is showing the same thing. I have stopped watching news. In the last two months, and that's what I was been discussing with my mother and Dilip sir as well. I told them that I stopped watching news. If somebody calls me, my friend or my client, hi, if I'm going to Hawaii, what is the status in your city? I do not know. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I only will take necessary precautions. That's all. And my office in my house, we have made a promise to each other that we will not even utter this word called C O R A N A. If we have to utter it, it has to deal with only beer. So that's what we made it clear. 
until and unless we stop watching this now you have to change your mindset completely towards the opportunity you see a news that's fine it will be a one of the worst news. find an opportunity for yourself what is the opportunity in that news i was just going through and i was just seeing through the share market the stocks are going up and everything how the hell the stocks are going up in this time how is it happening that these guys are becoming great what are the opportunities Reliance have completely diverted their business towards making BP ads on digital platform and everything. Why we can't do something like that? There are opportunities, guys. You are still not trying to understand me. You might be saying, "How is it possible? That how will I get a job now? How will I go abroad and work now? How forget about everything? How will I do my internships now?" This must be a question to you. But then, by the time I end the session, I will be. Some ways and opportunities to look forward on how do you take it ahead. Let me give you and tell you some good news also. I don't have to tell you. You know how the relations are of China and India. Not only China and India, but China and rest of the world. Why India has a chance to replace China as a global economic in the most common time? If this happens, and we are already working towards this, India looks to lose more than thousand American companies out of China. I am not saying only America. There are more than fifty countries who wants to move their operations out of China. And if ten to twenty percent makes a lot of difference. The nationalist companies or the global companies, if they set their production houses here, I don't have to tell you what happens. It has to do with tourism. Now, this is a fact you need to understand, guys. And this is a old thing, but then I find an opportunity for, my, for myself here. Tourism in India is important for the country's economy and is growing rapidly. The World Travel and Tourism Council calculated that tourism generated 16.91 lakh crores, or 9.2 percent of India's GDP in 2008, and it contributes 8.1 of its total employment. 1.8 percent of total employment in India is being given by I. Our, by our industry, tourism supports this big. Not only this, but you go to any of the developed countries. There are tourism. Where do you want to go? You want to go to America. You want to go to Europe. There are developed countries, and everybody wants to go there. Their economy on tourism is much higher than us, right? If we grow, our company grows. Uh, the companies coming in India definitely the tourism is going to grow massively, and. Trust me, you have to find opportunities right now. Do one favor on yourself. Start studying about tourism in terms of countries, different countries, and how they are operating. See, there will be lot of lot of things which will be planned, and each and every country will focus on tourism because that's where they will bring money from different part of the world. So, if you want to go abroad, find which country. Is working out best on those lines. Which country is working on tourism the most? And if you want to apply for PR and stuff like that, I don't have to tell you. This will be the best time probably because people they will want people to come in their country. So think about this. Do your study. I will not give you all the answers. You have to do your own studies also somewhere because if something is given for free, it is does not have any worth of it. Let me move further. And okay, this is one of my favorite. I like this. Uh, I love this article rather. Uh, my aim is to add five hotel a month. Mehul Sharma. So he says he wants to add five hotels a month. And you guys must be like, this is not a old thing. This is a very fresh uh, or like uh, just a ten days old uh, uh, news. You guys must be wondering what? Yeah, people page ke jar hai aur yahan pe unko khulne ki sunne ki kahan se kamai? Because he has a vision of what is the opportunity. I have to tell you this. I'm, I'm sure the guys of Gujarat guys can connect to this very well. Uh, when the market is down, okay, Warren Buffett, you all, you all guys know who is Warren Buffett. He has got a very famous quote: "When the market is greedy, be fearful, and when the market is fearful, be greedy." Now, the entire hospitality industry is fearful. You have to become greedy because. This is one of the best, best, best opportunity to make most of it. You guys are lovely guys. I love Gujaratis. They have a mindset of business, and I don't have to tell them. So, brilliant opportunities to become a hotelier right now. I'm saying this to you guys. Brilliant opportunity because lot of people will back off. Lot of people will just give up their 
uh, restaurants, hotels, and this is a wonderful opportunity to make most of it. I'm sure this pandemic is not going to be there forever. Let me take you through this. We have been hit through financial crisis in 2010, 2008, 2013, 14. We didn't even realize it when the uh, financial. When there was a world war, in World War, what happens? Everything is destroyed. Hospitals, roads, industries, everything. And it took two years to revive their economy. This is not a war, by the way. And if this is not a war, you know what I'm talking. The debt. Pandemics. Look at the other pandemics which were there. At that time, the world was not that advanced with technology, with vaccines and medical. Now we are at the peakest level of ours. Human being can be developed with technology, and we must. We are developed with medical science as well. So Spanish flu, smallpox, plague, like that. There has been so many diseases. My God, I don't have to tell you. And what are the rates? Okay, guys, look at this. Why I am saying this and why I am showing this now is New Zealand is COVID-free. Here are other countries. A countries. Here are other countries that are stand out of. Right. Now, I, I tell you one thing. If you are standing here today, and tomorrow there is a vaccine, I am sure it is already there and they are already in trial. It just finishes, and. All of a sudden, this virus is out of the world, right? There was tuberculosis, and there were so many other diseases, smallpox. It got vanished all of a sudden. There is, but there is on a very small scale, which we don't even recognize or we don't appreciate of that anymore. What happens? You look back towards those four or five months. What will happen? You will be looking back and saying, "Oh shit! I should have worked on something productive, and I should have worked on those opportunities." Why didn't I see and look at those opportunities? I'm sure what I'm saying is absolutely correct, and what you are understanding is also correct. There will be opportunities will open the doors. The, the opportunities will open the doors, and you will be there, standing, and you cannot take that opportunity because you haven't worked on the skill set or maybe whatever that thing is. Just need to work on the opportunity. Let me show you something. Self Reliant India. I want to talk on this later. I want to talk on Self Reliant later. By the way, guys, this is not a war. If you say that this is a war again, this virus, this is not a war. Things will be normal within flash. And once it is, because this is not a war, everything is just as it is. We just went on a break. Assume we went on a break for three months and we just came back. Everything is open the next day. We don't have to build industries. We don't have to build roads. We don't have to build airport. They're not destroyed. They're just there. We went on a vacation. Assume that and we are back. This is one of the best time where you can make most of your skills, understand things, find those opportunities. I will share few opportunities which I look forward for. Yes. Now I want to share my opportunities as well. So when I was in the lockdown, first thing I did was raise funds for uh, people in our industry. We have two fifty factories with medical facilities and monthly ration as well. It's more than nine lakh rupees. This slide is a bit older. Uh, I executed 10 training sessions sitting in my house during the lockdown itself. That was brilliant for me to make some money. Apart from that, I wanted to tell you one more thing. I worked on finding opportunities. I found out four opportunities, by the way, four opportunities, two which will be very soon, and I will give you a hint about that uh, because it's not yet open and it's not for public. Uh, it's just in uh, the development phase. I did two months course on stock market, which is my favorite thing, and I invested when the market was at somewhere around. I I, I invested majorly when it was at eight thousand rupees. So you guys know out there. Okay, now what are my plans? Expansion in multiple cities with two concepts, which I I have to launch. Providing employment for across thirty to forty people in my team, doubling our revenue. Our revenue will go double during this while this Corona whatever pandemic we call it. How and what I'm doing. Let me share you some opportunities. I was doing and only posting videos while I was in my lockdown. What had happened during that time? I was getting enormous number of calls, messages that they want to learn, do some courses, this that. But then I was not very ready for it. Frankly speaking, I was not ready. I was thinking, how do I teach flare bartending to people sitting out there? This is very difficult. Then I thought, why I shouldn't do it? I thought about it, and I started doing it. Flair bartending. I made a list of all the moves. I made a list. I put it on my wall rather on the chart paper. Each and every move. 
I realized one thing. I was in the negative mindset again myself. I found a beautiful opportunity where I am myself giving my students a beautiful thing to say about and talk about that they can do flare bartending sitting in the house with my course in three months. Flare bartending. You must be having a lot of questions. Like I am. How do I do? I will drop water. This, that, there is so many questions. It is not possible. I will show you some one fix, one to three. So I made each move into a hack and I started with my flare course. Trust me. I got 30 admission in my first batch. I just put it to all the people and I said, I'm open. You all want to join? 30 people joined my session. Okay, now some more thing. Some, okay. Okay. Also, the another thing was I am stuck in Pune at the moment. So I just did my calculation and understood what are my strengths. I do lovely cocktails. My consulting services are beautiful, amazing. I get a lot of clients, Taj, Marriott, and other so many other. But I'm like, I am very good at making cocktails. My team is very good at it. This is a strength. How do we make it into opportunities? So we sat and we thought about it. What came in my mind? That there must be at least. 300 bars, out of that 100 bars must be selling cocktails and I'm sure they sell cocktails if each bar just sell one if each bar just sell 5 cocktails a day in a month it is a whopping number of more than 1.5 lakh cocktails people are there and they don't want to drink cocktails so we came up with this concept there was a quick concept, we wanted to make quick money out of it we came up with a concept called artisanal cocktail remix so guys can go on our Instagram and check some on uh, something about that. Maybe something and click for you guys. Something you guys can start. Okay. By the way, I have that bottle. It's just a simple bottle. I just made it very cute looking and it branding called Atmanirbhar Bartender to make it more uh, uh, personalized, where people will be appreciating that bartenders are being Atmanirbhar. And it click. The first week we started selling it, and just like five days uh, when we started, we sold five hundred. Now, I was thinking it will be so expensive to get those charts, to get those ingredients, raw material. I did one more thing. This is the opportunity where you should think about it. I called all the hotels, restaurants, bars, whoever I, whoever I knew. I said, you've got mixers, you've got syrups, tonic. I want them at one fourth rate. Before they expire, I want to buy them. Do you want to sell them? They said, that, please take them all. Please take them all. We got our syrups at one fourth rate. We got our ingredients at one fourth rate. We use rosemary, thyme, basil, malta, oranges in our cocktails and made it much cheaper because all the exotic restaurants in the cities are shut. Farmers are dumping here every day, come to our office and dump it, take it, do whatever. Thousand rupees. Uh, so, for example, we used to buy those products for thousand rupees. The same products we're getting at 70 to 80 rupees. I wanted those jars which were at 18 rupees. I called a couple of more people out there and said that we want jars we have those jars where we can shake those cocktails inside that and sip we got those jars at half the rate we got those uh, jars at 8 rupees only per jar they are beautiful and endless opportunity guys so my i'm selling those cocktails at 150 rupees and people sell it at 180 rupees it really doesn't matter but i am getting a cost of just 30 rupees max with all the marketing and this and that max 30 rupees but then this concept click and we are working hard on it. Now, not only that, I am working on more important aspects like consulting. So I want to get, I am getting into home bar. I am wanting to have best team of flare bartenders in my team because at this time, all the flare bartenders in India, they are jobless, they don't have jobs. And this is the best time that I hire them in my team and whatever it is I want. Probably it will be mutual understanding as well. So this is one of the best time to get, but then you need a fun you need a plan to back up, you cannot just hire people, you need a plan to back up, which I have. I cannot disclose it, you will very soon see it. But then I'll make sure I will make a list of all those people who are there and I'll be sending you guys with whatever new things you are doing during this lockdown. So that you know that we are just not talking, then rather we're doing it. Now, also the first thing I wanted to tell you uh, is that what we did was the smart play thing I introduced in the course. What is a smart play? Definitely you need to just cannot do uh, Flare bartending But then I came up with this concept called smart flare Then you guys can do flare bartending at in your house Now you must be saying I will break bottles I mean there will be so much of noise this, That I came up with a concept called Noise cancellation Where there will be no noise making problems 
the secret I won't share it right now for those who join me. So now what is clear bartending and how? Okay, I will show you one move. Let me get one shaker. Can I have one shaker, please? Yeah, one moment. Shaker. Thanks, sir. So this is my shaker. I'll show you one move. Okay, that's a bottle. That's a shaker. Let me pour some water for you. The shaker. For example, I pour some water. Here. Okay. For example, I just do this move. Just it's in my office rather than doing this. There's water in there, and I'm throwing and I'm catching that. That was such a stupid move. And I want to show you that there is no trick behind it. Basically. Uh, can slip and it came it back in my hand and there's water in there and you must be thinking and if I tell you you guys can do this move sitting in your house will you be able to do it I'm sure you must be thinking no it's not possible and so difficult my God so many things so this each and every move I have converted into a hack now let me tell you how did I do this and how guys are practicing this this is one of the moves each and every flare bartender so three months a bartender or whoever joins can do a three minutes flare show. I cover, I add water, I cover it with a clean drop, I just put a cello tip and you practice it how much ever you want. Just drop it so many times you want. I have made it uh, resistant proof, noise proof. If it will fall, it won't make noise as well. That's one opportunity I found out and it clicked so well. And just being online, me being and teaching those 30 people and there is a system which I have set to it. And I am able to do it that flare water and sitting in the house. That's one brilliant thing. Apart from that, I felt this is one of the most important and this is the need of the hour. Learning a foreign language. You need to find out the opportunity in which country is going to explode in terms of do your homework guys. Trust me, there are a couple of countries which will explode in terms of tourism. They have very big plans. So I did this course for free for them. Not only that, this is one of the most important things because now each and every bar, each and every hotel will look at sustainability, will look at innovation. Innovation will only attract. I strongly believe that if you want to run a bar or restaurant or a hotel, you have to be extremely innovative. You have to just be so innovative that your client should say, wow. And each and every project what I do, I add some innovation which makes or brings smiles on their face and they should think that what seriously is this the thing how that's mind blowing that's what is the first word they should. so i am doing this main engineering course where i am doing these things also not only that sustainability why cutting cost is going to be extremely very important if you guys are there sitting watching now you definitely should do this course on sustainability not this any other course you do in the world which you find Every hotel will demand for this very very soon and it will add on. Like few years back, everybody used to put a course, NIIT course, right? In their resume as an extra add-on course. Sustainability is one of the most important course which is going to be. So please make sure you do that. And there are a lot of trends across the globe which will be right on your table because the world is seeing internet since last three months. What all add-on additional benefit? Now I wanted them to come there because I cannot teach them. I, the taste, the smell, the aromas, I am getting them one week after post lockdown and getting them. I am booking their tickets and I am getting them here to spend one week with me. In that one week, what I am going to do? This is the favorite thing that I am going to do. Now, I am going to do a photo shoot, a video shoot. I am sure you guys have been through so many interviews and stuff like that. I am sure you have given your interviews and this you should definitely do yourself by the way. All those hundred people watching there. Now guys, when you go for an interview, you give a resume, you make a resume, you send your resumes, right? Most of the people are so lazy to do this. They'll call their friends, they'll go on internet, download a resume, finish. What you need to do, you are a brand first thing. Make sure in your mind if you really want to know in your life. If you download a resume, it doesn't work. You remove the name, you remove your address and the hobby, the mission, the vision, everything will be the same. You have to make your own vision, so everything should be you because you when you go to buy a branded product you don't open the brochure and see the specification the features they are not fake they mean what they say you pick it in your resume so i am working because i know the importance of presenting yourself as your portfolio presenting yourself as a brand is very very important 
a photo shoot making a very unique resume because there will be thousands of job opportunity and there will be thousands of people applying why your resume should stand out because you need to put some efforts in that that is why and where it will stand out not only that you sitting here some giving interview in some other country how will the people will know your skills i am doing a photo shoot for these guys so that they know what are they doing how are they keeping the bottoms or doing boring about themselves it's a video resume i would say why free of cost brilliant time call your 10 friends and ask them do you do this they will say please give me some work take your own deals whatever you want gujaratis get into actions and i am giving them a fantastic deal as well 30% off forget about everything forget about everything this guys now let me come back let me come back to the main thing and tell you one important fact now i'm sure you guys are sitting there and uh, you all all are working on this line that we want to boycott chinese product we want to do that right you all are boycotting chinese product i'm sure those apps those uh, equipments or gadget i will buy if it is expensive also that nationalism is like totally awake in us right yes how many of you like boycott chinese goods and product give me a thumbs up right now let me see how many national nationalist are here how many pride about proud about this i'm sure at least 50 to 60 percent if you all have not boycotted also that's fine but in your mind you have made it that i will do something for this but let me tell you one thing before boycotting this that this that we have to boycott one important thing that is first boycott your negative mindset second boycott your comfort zone third boycott your laziness which has this lockdown has made you lazy three things you boycott first you will grow in your life definitely that's a guarantee that's a guarantee boycott your negative mindset boycott your comfort zone and come out of that and start finding those opportunities now let me ask you one more question how many of you guys have taken those challenges on um, instagram uh, facebook whatsapp i i'm sure those make up uh, and this and that challenged three friends and this. i'm sure everybody did that challenge everybody was in that i was also in that i was challenging a lot of people and right now i want to also do one more thing challenge you guys and i want to work on this challenge with everybody out there hundred people it really does not matter because i have set a process to it all of these are totally following people who are in this challenge with me i want to challenge you one is first set a goal for yourself set a goal which is really 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 unshakable you should have confidence in your goal first thing is that do not think what is happening corona this that forget about everything set a goal make a plan for it and third plan has to be really in detail don't care about anything make a plan which is really in detail third very 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 important very 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 important start looking at opportunities in each and everything that you see i'm sure what i'm talking here right now is really making sense to the faculty all there because the college is being headed by the command in charge he knows what the vision is he knows what the opportunities are he knows what things will turn out you guys must be thinking why are they calling let me come back after my lockdown and i will do my course and things like that i'm sure you guys are thinking on that but make sure that you take that move boy got those things take that challenge now i'm sure everybody was inspired and was just giving me a thumbs up let me see how many of you all have real goals how many of you all can take this challenge let's work together one on one let's do that i want thumbs up right now let's see i'm putting my email address right now here i'm being open to you guys let's do it let's not fake it i'm putting my email address you can write me a mail with your goals you can write me a mail with your goals you can write me an email with your plan of action you can write me a goals with your opportunities that you're looking for thank you so much there are few people who have already given me thumbs up brilliant 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 now let me give you a final advice you guys are doing your hotel management hotel management you guys are looking for to manage your hotel you guys must be worried so much guys must be worried so much that 
sir how will i do my training my internship this is so difficult and you must be calling us sir sir mujhe please kuch karo kya hoga humko pata nahi frankly speaking if you really feel to do something you should do i'm sure you guys sitting now in this lockdown felt like main kisi gali ko khana khila do main kisi ki madad kar do you have that opportunity you don't need money for that you can do it sitting or doing if you really want it now if i was in your place what i would have done for my training let me tell you i am doing a hotel management course if i'm doing a hotel management for what do i aspire to become i aspire to become a ceo a general manager a fnb manager and run the show for the hotel a big hotel a big damn fantastic hotel run the show for a hotel right that's what i aspire to become that's what is my management skill why don't you take or take over rather take over an ngo and open it and bring that ngo from this level to this level without any money that's the challenge when you do that the six month or one year training you will do that i am sure that you will get inspired by yourself that what you have done apart from that when you will take your training certificate stating that i did my training in an orphanage or in a old age house and i bought these changes and i bought things from here to here i don't think so any hotel will reject you definitely take you because without money you will miss now guys very important i want you to take that challenge for sure i am going to see your challenge accepted emails in my inbox i will personally write emails i will personally work with you on your strategies and find you in them and let's work on opportunity yes perfect fantastic now that's all from my session now i finish here i want you guys to shoot me question i am sure there are no question because your brain has already started functioning so well towards the opportunity now you are not listening to me or rather you are just looking at the opportunities what is the opportunity which i can grab that's brilliant but if you have any question please write it down oh i put my email id again i'll put my email address anyways that's my personal email id sir so where is your email address? Did you get it now, guys? Okay, I have sent my once again. In case uh, if you want to get in touch with my office people, you can get in touch with my office people uh, in this. So, do you guys have any questions? Please shoot me your questions. If you guys have any question, please, I am open to take your questions. I hope now everybody wants to become self-reliant, right? We did that. Uh, Clapping of play, or play, playing with those plates, putting those diyas when Modi came. When Modi said, "Become self-reliant," we really did not care about it, right? Now this is what it means by self-reliant. College is not going to feed you with everything. Nobody is going to feed you with everything. You have to become self-reliant. And the prime minister himself is saying, "Become self-reliant, guys. This is the way to become self-reliant. You take charge of your own future. Definitely, the college is going to help you there." But then you have to take charge of yourself somewhere, right, guys? Uh, please send feedbacks. Okay, guys, no questions. Thank you so much. It's brilliant to have no questions. It makes this session successful. And I thank you very much for giving that one hour of yours. I had a special time set for those question answers. I had five to seven minutes, but then that's fine. Time is because, money. Uh... Make most use of it. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Kamli, there there are there are few questions which uh, the minister will uh, just take it. But before that, I just want to thank you personally on behalf of the school and Oru University. I think this was a really uh, you know big boost and energy uh, you know drink that we wanted. I think it's much better than any other energy drinks that is available. <laughs> thank you so much. You have and your speech has really reinstated uh, you know the confidence and given people hope. about this industry and about what they can achieve and what they can do and you know as as the webinar uh, heading suggests rebooting and taking charge of yourself i think a lot of people will take uh, confidence from now on and probably ask how can they better utilize this time and not just cry about the limitations and the, the problems that they are facing on day to day basis right that's true That is that is really great. I I would just uh, request uh, Dilip sir if there are some questions and then close the session. Dilip sir, over to you please. Yes sir. Before starting with the question, I'd like to request all the participants to fill the feedback form to get the certificate. Right. So without 
filling this form we won't be able to get the certificate so there are few questions i would like to ask pankaj sir so first yes, question that what are the opportunities for bartender in future or well, there are brilliant opportunities for bartenders in future because if you want to see the opportunities you have to just look at those videos when government announced that alcohol is now available in the country you all can go and buy that's what shows the opportunity for bartending in future that's a brilliant opportunity because if and whenever this virus is finished only and only one thing will happen is celebration everybody will celebrate weddings the banquets will be full people have waited for months to celebrate their birthdays and everything it is going to be one damn thing and every celebration needs food and drinks and that's where we come into picture not only bartenders but entire hospitality will get pushed i am 100% sure about this so there are brilliant opportunities just follow what you were doing that's all you, you just need to master your things and which will come in future it's innovation and sustainability this is my tip for those guys just follow this extra two step in your curriculum and get more knowledge on these things yes sir yeah one more question you were talking about sir that is time to become self dependent so one question related to that how can we become self dependent self dependent yeah on yeah there are there are a lot of opportunities so i made this cocktail call at my work bartender for myself and i am self reliant now if you want to become self reliant for students especially they should think about one simple thing about learning things and find those opportunities if i want to become as i told you i i probably have answered this question in the session itself they don't have to go to the college trying that i am not getting in the gym they need to create opportunities for themselves they have to think out of the box this is where their creativity will come uh, becoming self reliant is something which i cannot put or you cannot put it's their own mindset which they need to open up so you guys need to open your mindset totally to a new dimension and look out of the box it's not necessary that uh, you want If I tell you to learn a new language that is an Arabic language, you must be thinking like, "What Arabic language? Why? No, 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 no." But then there can be an opportunity. This is what I say when you need to think out of the box. Becoming self-reliant, nobody is going to hold your hand and make you self-reliant. You have to become. If you are asking me how to become self-reliant, guys, this is not a question on first. You have to become self-reliant yourself. You need to ask question to yourself. Odi ji came and just simply said, "Become self-reliant in your." जिसको जो करना है करो अभी अपना दिमाग लगाओ यू हैव बिग ब्रेन यू कैन डू थिंग्स यस सर सर ऑल्सो देयर आर सो मेनी क्वेश्चंस बट लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क दैट इज देयर एनी अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द फ्रेशर फ्रेशर इन टर्म्स ऑफ मींस द फ्रेशर दोज हु हैव जस्ट नॉट टेकन द एडमिशन इन होटल मैनेजमेंट सो इज देयर एनी अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर देम Why not? There are really no opportunities. There are no opportunities. It's just you must be thinking that, frankly speaking, there are good opportunities. You have to excel in your skills quickly, very quickly, because a lot of people will quit and leave this profession. There is will be a huge gap. Already, people are just leaving the industry. That's brilliant. That's good for you. If you're a new joiner, if you're looking for it, it's brilliant because people are moving out of it. You get into it. You want to get into entrepreneurship. You should get into it. Find the opportunity. If you want to buy equipment, if you want to open your restaurant, one year down the line, also if you are a fresher, frankly speaking, buy equipments and everything and keep it right now. You are getting it at dirt cheap rate. The restaurant is at cheap and buy, buy and keep it. I am telling you, in one year's time, you will make double out of it. Double out of it. When you will open your restaurant, you will get those equipments at dirt cheap rate right now. So if you want to open a cafe, if you want to think about something, that's the one thing. And make sure that you add these things with innovation, innovation, innovation. Innovation is the only thing that will take you higher. Make sure that you don't give up. That I have to go abroad or this or that. Abroad and everything. Definitely, all the opportunities will open brilliantly in a very different way. And think of, think out of the box. When I say about think out of the box, is that. what and how you can offer your services sitting right in your house or you know very different format because things may not be same as it is so i am definitely working out on all those things as i said home bars 
I am working on that. I was a bartender and I was going and doing my bartending services and stuff like that. Now home bar. How I can be present in every house? How I can give them entertainment? How I can make sure that they are getting entertained with my cocktails? So you have to think out of the box in every damn thing that you that have, that comes to your mind. So opportunities, there are a lot of. Them. If you ask me what opportunities, there is infinite ways of doing it. There are ways. Of, there was this guy who was saying, "I will open five hotels in a month." Wow! How? Hey, follow him, study him, look out of, look beside him. What is he doing? Or look out of those people who have a positive mindset and how they are looking towards him. So you follow those people and follow those people with a right mindset. See that what they are doing, how they are doing it. Automatic. If you follow a negative mindset, you have my restaurant, my car, my hotel, my car, my job, industry, so on. Just keep pushing, and you will do it. अगर आप उनको देख रहे हो कि ये कुछ कर रहे हैं प्रोडक्टिव और ये आगे बढ़ रहे हैं आपको उसमें से एक चीज मिलेगी जो आपको खींच के लेके जाएगी वन थिंग ओनली विल क्लिक यू दैट्स ऑल देयर आर ब्रिलियंट ऑपर्चुनिटी आई थिंक दैट दोस हु विल गिव अप इट विल बी अ बिग लॉस टू देम बिकॉज़ नाउ द मार्केट इज फियरफुल बिकम ग्रीन आई एम बिकमिंग ग्रीन मी एंड माय टीम आर वर्किंग मोर देन 10 आवर्स एवरी सिंगल डे इन लॉक बिकॉज़ वी वांट टू मेक मोस्ट ऑफ इट यस सर या Thank you, Pankaj sir. So as we are running so out much. of yeah, as we are running out of time, so it's not possible to means ask all the questions which has been asked by the participants. So some of the important question I have already asked from you. Now it's time to sincerely like to thank Mr. Pankaj Kambli for his time and valuable interaction with the participants here today. In the middle of every difficulty lies an opportunity, as per the Albert Einstein. I feel. you have really opened the eyes for our audience of the world of opportunities that they can create your work and your ideas are really progressive and hope it will benefit our audience here today also like to thank our it person mr manish dhiwala and ms shreya for their support and contribution lastly a big thanks of our valuable participants for attending the session please thank you so very much sir thank you so thank much pankaj thank you thank you pankaj sir thanks sir. a lot it was really a pleasure and thank it you really like boosted our confidence thank you so much my pleasure i hope i was able to make a difference make your life worth during lockdown guys cheers stay home stay safe and have a fantastic day Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye everybody. Thank you, Take everyone. care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care.